Hey there, I'm your host, Dale Yushenko. I'm here to help you learn about all things regarding air. We're going to talk about the components that make up an air suspension system, and then we're going to get into the details of how they all work together. With that said, let's get started. The key component to making any car drivable is the suspension. There have always been a multitude of variations in suspension design, both in the OEM and aftermarket worlds. One of the more recognizable parts in a suspension system is the spring. Whether it's a steel coil, leaf, or an air spring, they're all achieving the same goal of supporting the vehicle's weight and isolating you from the road. When we talk about air suspension, it's important to understand the role of the air spring itself. One of these replaces the steel spring on each corner of the car. The primary benefit of the air spring is that you can raise and lower the vehicle from inside the car. To accomplish this, you'll have an air management package. This consists of a control system, valves, tank, compressors, plumbing, and some wiring. An air management system supplies air to the air springs to raise and lower the vehicle. With modern air management in place, you have the freedom to drive your car, not have to worry about manually controlling your suspension. I remember the first truck I ever built was lowered on coils. It looked cool, but I was more focused on dodging manhole covers than actually driving. With modern air suspension, this isn't a problem anymore. Speaking of driving, earlier I found the keys to the Acura S7. Let's go see it work. As car enthusiasts, we all want our cars low for both looks and performance. But static suspension comes with challenges in daily use and practicality. I'm sure many of you have struggled getting over speed bumps and have had too many people in the car resulting in rub fenders or bad turning radius. At its core, air suspension allows you to adjust the height of your vehicle to avoid these problems. At the touch of a button, you can adjust your system and instantly be at a raised height for optimal clearance. If the load changes in the vehicle, an air suspension system can adjust back to your desired clearance as well as maintain proper suspension geometry. The surprise to most people when they drive a car in air suspension is that a properly engineered system can actually perform as good or better than static suspension. Better handling is achieved all while having a more comfortable ride because of the inherent qualities of the air spring. Here we are driving on a rough road, yet I still feel totally isolated from all the harshness. Bottom line, with air suspension, you get a low car, drivability, and the flexibility to have one car do everything. Now that we know a little theory on air suspension and have demonstrated it in the real world, let's get more technical, show you how the components apply to a vehicle. Here we have a Magnum SRT8 on air suspension. Behind the fender lies the air spring. It fits right in where the steel coil spring would be. However, the spring gives us the added functionality of adjusting our ride height through our air management system. Coming from the air spring will be a section of DOT airline. This will travel from each air spring back to where the valve manifold is installed. But before we get to the tank, let's stop and take note of the height sensor found at each corner of the suspension. Whether you buy a new car with factory air, like a Porsche Panamera or uh, running a quality aftermarket system, you will have height sensors that allow you to maintain the vehicle height and have presets regardless of the load. If we follow our airline and height sensor cables to the rear of the vehicle, we will see the heart, brain, and lungs of our air suspension system. This is called an air management package, or AMP for short. There is a lot to look at, so let's go slow. We start off here with our valve manifold. This is a very important player in the functionality of everything. Air is compressed and stored in the tank before being delivered through the manifold and sent to each air spring. The brains behind an air suspension system is its ECU. It takes user inputs and height readings and in turn controls the valves to make adjustments. The final component we're going to touch upon is the interface. This is the device a user will interact with in order to make changes in presets, manual adjustments, and adjust settings. Depending on what system you use, this can be done with either a wired connection to the ECU or through a Wi-Fi connection on your iPhone or Android device. It might seem like a lot at first, 
but when an air suspension system is engineered and installed correctly, it all works seamlessly.